I almost gave up faith in Sensei. What he was doing could have been irredeemable if it was actually him. And the intro scene was pretty troll. I mean, we actually saw Koro Sensei's tentacles in himself, but the actual perpetrator is a random dude that used to work for Katasuma who was getting, I don't know, used by Shiro, and that's what's happening. Had a bit of a plot twist, had a bit of a cliffhanger. Itonai is attacking yet again. This is round three. Every time they fail, they come back with some crazy new setup, and they're challenging us yet again. Will it be 03? You know, 3 0 for Sensei versus Itona. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> You got them upgrades. You can't say that. You, you're you gonna lose again. You're gonna call him weak, bro? This is round three. You've lost every time with all the fucking handicaps that could have been given. Come on, man. If you fail again, you are definitely a fraud. Horrible Itona time. Hor no, it's Horibe Itona. It's not hor horrible. It's Horibe Itona. Itona even has a last name, huh? It doesn't matter. Like, you know what would have been so easy? Rather than having single strands, you know, that could be dodged in this, why don't you have, uh, like, a different weapon that is covering the entire surface area, the entire fucking area of this structure? So you could just simply just push down, and Koro Sensei has nowhere to go against. Also of course he is. I think that the kid should help out. It feels wrong that we're gonna get our money stolen away from him. Nah, despite that, it just doesn't feel right that someone else is gonna take out Koro Sensei. It should be us if it's anyone. Get in there, Terasaka. <laughs> Being an adult. Sure. Surely. Surely this is the final match. Nah, bro. You're gonna fucking lose. You're gonna go back and fucking prep again. Now, the, something that's interesting is Shiro's eyes, right? I don't know who he really is, but if we look at, I think I theorized before in the previous season when he first showed up, is like he has these beady eyes. It's not like a human. He's covering his face intentionally, yet the rest of his body is human. Did he also go under some sort of experiments that Koro Sensei and Itona went through, but he only had his face altered? Who knows? <laughs> and another thing, I guess, beyond that is the fact that Shiro wears anti sensei clothing. Right? So I guess it doesn't really make sense that he's wearing that to cover his face if he has, you know, that, yeah, I don't know, Koro-sensei stuff in him, just like Itona does. I would like to see what happens if Itona actually touches the anti-Koro-sensei clothing. If that has no impact on Itona, then I think that this theory isn't contradicting as much. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for this kid. To prove that I'm the strongest? Do you know what strongest means? Do you even know why you exist? Do you have any other ambitions or pursuits in life? Like, you are such a sad character. Easy. And now he will try. But... It's too obvious now? Downloaded. Downloaded. Ain't working, bro. How do you stop that? Okay. Sensei is also growing, bro. Sensei's true power levels. Oh? What is it? Sensei got a new technique! Compress his tentacles and a burst of energy. So all the anti-sensei clothes right now is gonna blow up. Cool. He's getting stronger, bro. Kamehameha. Dude, he's got a beam attack, what the fuck? 
Uh, just get out of here, bro. I'll see you in fucking another seven episodes. You're gonna get more upgrades. Your hair's gonna be different. You'll have a different fucking prep time with Shiro. But that even that's not gonna work. It's never gonna work. You're fraud. 3-0 now, bro. Wow. Caught his ass, though. Yeah, that too. Is she? Is she camping? Is Kaide also a fucking fraud right now? Oh. Face too? He's just going crazy because he's been taking too many L's. Oh, shut the fuck up. Flawless scheme my ass. Your scheme sucked. Your scheme couldn't even comprehend Sensei's new power, bro. You cannot blame Ituna. Both of you are walking L's. Damn, Ituna's getting fired. <laughs> Ituna actually getting fired right now. I don't want to play with you. We're going to have a new experiment kit instead. Oh? I think this is better. I think this is better and unironically, this might also be like really hilarious because like Ituna will probably be stronger in terms of his potential to assassinate Koro Sensei if he sticks with us rather than being with Shiro. This should have been how I expected from the beginning, but it's, you know, he should always take Ituna back. But now that like, I'm, I'm sure he's going to get adapted to his school, the rest of the classmates, just like how Ritsu was. She was basically Terminator AI, but she got corrected. So I'm sure Ituna can also be corrected. <laughs> Not a guardian. He's an employer. What a monster. What is his deal? What is his fucking deal? Why does he hate us so much despite the fact that the entire world is being held hostage by him? He seems to have some personal stakes, right? Like, of course, Koro-sensei is going to blow up the world. That's scary. Oh, no, everyone's involved. But this guy acts as if there's, like, backstory. Like, Koro-sensei personally got in his way in the past. Like, something so personal happened in the past. Knock him out. Knock him out. What if he just goes and just destroys the city? Would Shiro not be responsible for that? I guess he doesn't give a fuck. これ先生を捉えるいつかれたので Cell phone shop. Thought it was breaking into some sort of pharmacy. Mm. Cook. Keep cooking. <laughs> Just gonna abandon him? <laughs> oh. Henshin. <laughs> Not to let enemies slip through my tentacles sounds weird, but in this context, he means to take care of the kids. All right, Ituna backstory or right now? I think it might be right now. Is this dad in the past? Who knows what that person could have been? And also, why just cell phone shops, I wonder? Maybe there's parts in there that could help Ituna. Or maybe he's just trying to call somebody? I don't know, what's your plan with the cell phones? He is becoming more and more human-like, for sure. Compared to the first round we saw him. Giga Terasaka. Giga Saka. You can't even move, bro. Barbecue. Flag. 
ひとたび担任になったら目の前に生徒がいるのだから教えたくなるのが先生の本能です。That's right. Even like, you know, Ritsu, it doesn't matter who it is. Koro sensei will always figure out a way like, to like save these students. And another crazy thing is how they're both state secrets, but Shiro was so fine with just letting Ituna rampage and let the state secret be uncovered by the public. Like, he doesn't care about the aftermath. Like, they don't give a fuck about that at all. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Trap. <laughs> is it Shiro? Wait, if he actually did a loop de loop, it was like, <laughs> you, you thought I was gone? Gotcha, motherfucker. I knew you would do this. So, this is my plan after that original plan. There's no way it's Shiro, though, is it? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> okay, he's fucking funny for this. He's pretty funny for this. Like that, just doesn't care. No, 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 no. The, 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 this is the real plan. Um, what else was there? I, I mean, no, he already knew that he would do anything for the kids. I'm like, did Shiro learn from this from the last time? Because the last time this happened was Terasaka's involvement and how all the kids were kind of drowning, and you know, Koro Sensei would do whatever it takes to save the kids, right? <laughs> Oh, she got an RPG. Never mind. It's a web. They got his ass. They're gonna hold Ethan in hostage now? And then we gotta show up? I ain't gonna lie. That was pretty funny from Shiro. Are you okay, bro? You don't look too good. We should go and try to help. Would we get in the way? I don't know. Oh shit, it's the anti. Yeah, anti sensei rays. That's right, when he has something to protect. But look who's not abandoning you, bro. You just picked him off the streets? What does Victor really mean? To win what? What am I doing? Stronger. I mean, I guess he was always obsessed with this like vague abstract term known as strength, right? He's always like, if you study hard and you do this diligently, you can be stronger. I mean, that kind of goes against what his quote unquote, I don't know if it was his dad, but there was someone in the flashback that told him like, you need to work earnestly and like, you know, earn your strength. But this is borrowed power. Broad. Yep. Itona, figure it out. Come on. Let's go, Karma. Let's go, kids. Nah, I should have let them fucking fall on the ground, bro. Why, why, why catch them? Should have fucking let them drop in the fucking concrete. Yeah. Saka. <laughs> if these kids are trained. We're doing for sensei. <laughs> Guys, you gotta be serious right now. How the fuck are you so unserious? You know what? Megane low key is also such a D gen. I think one of his first lines ever was such a Coomer comment, too, right? Lights are gone. Let's go, kids. They actually helped. His plan has never worked out, though. Is he really a good planner? It's still gonna fail, bro. You suck. They said three days, right? I love how like Shiro just gets away. This this sucks. And Shiro just gets away. Because at the end of the day, Koro Sensei is the big bad monster, and Shiro is probably like, you know, government funded researcher guy. They're on the good side. I just I hate that guy. But that power never worked out, bro. Borrowed power didn't work. In fact, the guy you're trying to beat is saving your ass. 
Stop it with the borrow power. Be yourself. This Beyblade fucking arrangement system all over again. Obsession with strength. There is a new student in class, and let's see if anyone's gonna get banned. Would anyone like to answer and go on a two week vacation together? Brand new people that have no idea how this shit works, I don't blame you. But would anyone like to. Would anyone like to, you know, go on a vacation together? Nobody? Alright. I don't know. I thought it was just like a random. The cell phone shops. Is it to call to somebody maybe? I'm thinking like what's the use of a fucking cell phone to call somebody? If not, maybe there's some parts in there that's gonna help Itona like maintain his sanity. I don't know beyond that. Horibe Itono, that's his name. President. Oh shit. So dad used to be huge smartphone CEO guy business went under. Now they're just in debt. Mom and dad gone. Son, orphan. And he's like, I need power no matter what. Okay. Then I was like, what's your backstory? <laughs> I hope, I hope y your family, you know, was even worse because like saying this shit, <laughs> like serious music to play. Oh no, how could it be? Poor Itona. Oh no, they're there. Tadasaka's like pussy. That's it. Weak ass backstory. Yeah, true. You're not wrong. He's so based. <laughs> Terasaka is just so, just, I don't know, straightforward, brunt, just so callous, so just, oh, just no bullshit, I love it. How did that business model work out, though? With integrity, he says. I got poached. Oh, no, all those employees got fucking poached after, you know, he gave him like the trade secrets of how good products are supposed to be made. Overwhelming power, overwhelming money to poach the employees. Damn. So what's the moral of the backstory? What's the lesson to be known? If you're going to go into cell phone business, don't do it with integrity. <laughs> you like Apple? I don't fucking know. It's just like, I, I, in the world of business, I guess, you try to be too, like, I don't know, straight shooter, a person of morals and ethics, do it right, but bigger company like Apple, with their sheer amount of power, aka money, just took all the fucking employees, now he fucking broke, alright, integrity overrated, sure. Oh, did, did we cut it off? Aww. Okay. Night. Oh, we're doing a little ramen time? Ramen That's interesting. Very peculiar how Terasaka's gang is the one, you know, taking Itona out and caring for him. Maybe Itona will join, you know, Terasaka's group once he joins our class. What the fuck? He were. Okay, we just hear some lore about, you know, our blonde friend, the Terasaka. He, I guess, works at a ramen shop. His family does, maybe. Yeah, okay, his family runs a ramen shop. Brother, come on. <laughs> Why do they start playing such epic music when Itoras just starts dismantling all the kindness and the favors being granted, bro? The last century wants its ramen back, bro. A hundred years back. It's like my dad. You guys are toast. Is he worried? Is, is he worried for a ramen shop now? Is he gonna improve our place? I don't fucking know. Where are we going with this? What do you got, bro? Modern. Motors. Ah, oh, they had like a motorcycle shop? This is their family property? God damn. I don't think this would be exciting to Itona though. For the average human, the thrill of riding a fast vehicle on a course is fun because you never go in that speed. But like Itona, you know, he's a fucking monster, bro. Well, I don't think this really gives him any stimulation. <laughs> Why is this funny now? 
What the fuck happened? It was all so sad and solemn, and now we're just hanging out with Itona. <laughs> Bullshit like this is happening. Hello? You good? Maybe he's having fun. Are you good? <laughs> they are idiots. <laughs> Which one's Hazama? The girl? <laughs> She's just basically saying, Baki Monogatari, this is you guys. Always trying to get fucking Monogatari series in. Multiple seasons, seven separate volumes, 2,500 pages. Come on. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Just come on. Monte Cristo, feel your revenge. <laughs> <laughs> he spoiled the story! Stop reading at the sixth volume. The seventh is when he gets a redemption. Uh, that's like a group is peak, man. Maybe he is being cheered up already. He's getting mad. He's getting mad, man. He did right just now. The bandana didn't do anything? Oh, Terasaka, wait, wait! Gigasaka! Okay. You gotta do it together as a team. Ooh. I mean, the tentacles are very weakened. It's very nerfed right now, but the fact that he stopped that himself, she. Has he done this before, actually? Hold up. Second time. When was the first time he's done this? He did do this. This is the second. No, no, no. He did do this in the swimming pool. Ep yeah, yeah, yeah. The swimming, um, the, the river episode, right? He did catch it. That was his redemption. Yeah, 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 yeah. Muramatsunchi no ramen o moidashita. Aitsu wa ano tako kara keie no benkyo. Ima wa mazui ramen de ii. Toki ga atta. We need to change it. Atarashi aji to keie shuan de hanjo sasete yaru. Alright. Iwarete ta. Itsu ka yaku ni tatsu na. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got till March. True? All takes it that one time. Maybe. Grind. Train. Practice. Or just fuck around. Or her to just waste time with you, Tuna. <laughs> Karma, please, you're so mean. Yeah, he's a bit of a stupid dummy, but Tarasaka's having this moment. It's working. There it is. He's calmed down again. And the tentacles are? Yeah. That's the biggest fucking clipper I've seen. All right, let's clip it. I'm sick of this power and this whole brothers thing too. The brothers thing talking about how friendship, brotherly bonds, Gigasaka and the crew, something like that. Hey, he's wearing a uniform. He's properly integrated into the class now. Oh, right. Koro sensei is literally brother, brotherhood. I thought the brotherhood was applying to like, you know, uh, you know, friendly brotherhood, to, you know, portrayed by Terasaka and crew. But technically, he's literally Koro-sensei's brother due to sharing some sort of, you know, experimental DNA. I don't know. Okay. There we go. We got a new kid. Happy ending. He's so rude. Yeah, I'm like, why is he, you know, hanging out with Terasaka group so much? Because when he joins, then he's going to be part of this gang. He just straight up said, give me your fucking ramen, bro. I'm going to not, I'll try not to barf it back up. Oh. Honestly, with Itona's, like, you know, flavor profile, he did criticize everything wrong with the ramen. If he just listens to all those criticisms and actually makes a better product, I bet the ramen shop could be saved. Terasaka group. And that is another episode of Ass Class and... The fraudulent battles, the setup time, all, you know, planned by Shiro, it ends with a 3-0. Or should I say 4-0? Because bro literally used Itona as bait. I guess he already gave up here. He's like, you know what? In case this goes wrong, I know that, like, you'll take Itona and then we'll take him. This part when Shiro, like, literally came back was so funny to me. There's like, no, there's no fucking way.
There's no fucking way that you're gonna show up again and say this is part of your plan. Yes, it was a part of his plan. Shiro seems to have this personal grudge against Koro Sensei. I don't think we really even know each other, but there's something so just. He just like has it out for him. More than like this like anger that people would normally feel when the world is taken hostage. Because everyone is under the same threat. Yet he takes it so much personally. Why? Well, he seems to be doing all these experimentations, right? Maybe he was somehow involved with the lady researcher that we see in the flashbacks when Koro Sensei was asked to, you know, help out the class 3E. I don't know, but Shiro definitely is endgame content and to explain the secrets of exactly what Koro Sensei and his experiments are. Itona, sad backstory. Basically, father had a shitty business plan. You you can't have integrity. When it comes to a business model, he got his workers poached, everyone fucking left, and turns out they just went bankrupt. And each one of them became an orphan. Shiro picked him up. His desire for power and the chuny edginess, you know, made him who he is. But hey, it's alright, because at the end of the day, all you need is a bunch of fucking idiots to hang out with, and Terasaka is perfect for that. Terasaka has been popping off. He's honestly one of my favorite characters of this show right now. He was definitely a huge L in that episode where, you know, he was getting, um, he was working with Shiro, but he redeemed himself in that episode. And ever since then, he's just been so, so peak. His dialogues are so good. And then there's Karma, fucking D1 hater trying to ruin the moment. But, you know, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Ituna now has joined the class. His outbursts are over. He's going to be joining, you know, the Terasaka group. But Shiro did say that... You know, he Itona basically got fired, and Shiro was saying like, you know, we're gonna just basically make a new model, so... <sighs> we're gonna get another fucking scheme, and a new dude showing up, I guess. That's it from me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.